How's it going guys? Archer Black C here, and this is my first real uh, video back since um, the crazy special event that I got to go to. Um, if you missed all that, uh, make sure you go to my channel and check out uh, the vlog and the like special openings and stuff. And I also put up the entire presentation that we received uh, as the Baku Masters um, from Spin Masters themselves. So uh, I did that. Um, I know some people threw it in their vlogs. I did it as its own separate thing just to kind of have it out on the internet. Uh, for those of you who wanted to kind of be a part of that thing. So, um, I didn't want to hold it, uh, hold it away from you. Anyway, uh, so this video, um, I didn't really talk about my thoughts of all the new stuff yet. And that's kind of what this is, but I also want this to be kind of a look at some new competitive things that are going to be happening with the new game. Um, because we are getting an entire new set that comes with a, I think, a ton more mechanics. Um, that actually are going to help the, the game grow a lot uh, and get a lot more competitive. Um, at least give us more options anyway than what we have already. Um, so, uh, just my general thoughts about everything. Um, you know, obviously, I guess take it with a grain of salt because I, you could say Bakugan sponsored me to go to this event, check out all this stuff. They flew me out, they paid for a hotel, all that stuff. So, if you don't want to listen to me uh, about this new stuff, whatever. Um, but, to me, um, I think it's a... Gameplay-wise, a great step forward. Um, we're going to talk about some of these cards. Uh, I think they're 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 very fun. It's fun ideas. Uh, stuff playing off of combos with itself. We have the new Baku gear that I'm sure everyone, at least if you're watching this video, you know what I'm talking about. Um, kind of playing off of battle gear from the old game. Um, Baku gear is pretty cool. Uh, it's literally just a tool card from Pokemon. Um, it attaches. You can only have one. Um, and if you want to, which I guess nobody's really talked about, if you want to um, play another tool card on the Bakugan gun that already has a tool card on it, all you have to do is discard the active one, uh, and you can pay the cost of the new one to place it there instead. Uh, so you're not locked in, per se, uh, but you can only have one at a time. Um, I like that. Uh, they're, most of them are kind of cool. The ones that are like the most... like. Um, interesting and I think are going to be the more effective ones are the ones that come with stat bonuses and also an ability like a drop ability almost like a lot of them say when you play this you can do something so like this tempest generator card it says when you play this you uh can re-roll this Bakugan so it's a two cost re-roll but also you just kind of give a small little bonus to your Bakugan uh and I mean until you can get to later turns where you can have better Baku gear. Uh, this can just kind of sit there, and you got a reroll out of it, so it's not like it's a wasted card in your deck. So I like that. Um, a lot of the uh, worry and concern was that most of these tool cards, or I keep calling tool cards, Bakker gear, um, mo most of them would just be kind of like dead spots in your deck if you, you know you don't need them, like you don't need the power up bonus or whatever. Um, and people were saying like, oh, it's just kind of like another version of evolutions, whatever. Um, but they have these cool drop effects or other effects, like some of them just give you Shadow Strike or give you Double Strike. And that's kind of a really powerful thing, especially like late in the game when you need to get off your things, uh, your, your big attacks. Uh, so like your third Bakugan that you're using, you know, your team attacker, as, as some of us would say, uh, the last one that you're planning on doing. And so like HTN is always like my last guy because I know I'm going to be getting off those big attacks. Um, I think it's really effective um, finding one of these new Baku gear. Uh, to put on there that makes it a little more dangerous. So, like, a double strike on HTN would put you at, like, 30 damage. <laughs> Not even counting the team attack. So, I mean, um, and there's flips and stuff that stop that. But you get the point. Uh, it's a it's a very good um, bonus uh, going forward. Um, we're getting new dual faction cards, uh, which are pretty cool. They look awesome. Um, these uh, kind of constrain your deck building a little bit. So, if you're playing a dual faction card, you have to be playing both of the factions that are on the card. Uh, so, um, if I'm playing this card, I can play Chaos Pyrus, uh, and I can only play those two and plus another. So if I want to play Chaos Pyrus Ventus, that's cool. But if I'm playing this card, I, I am locked into Chaos and Pyrus, at least. Um, and usually these are a little more powerful. Uh, we'll talk about a few of them here in a second. Um, but they they seem to be more powerful anyway. Uh, some of them have a little bit of high energy cost. A lot of the new cards kind of have a lot of a, a lot of high energy cost, but that kind of also happened in Age of Orlis, um, which <laughs> we don't have to talk about Age of Orlis, but uh, 
for those of us who got it, <laughs> uh, some of the cards in there that seemed good seemed a little too overpriced. Um, and these don't necessarily feel that overpriced. Some of these cards in this set are pretty good. Uh, I, I did notice a lot of like B power boosters, light like um, light energy cost B power boosters, uh, and a lot of things that have different effects that give even more B power boosters. So this is kind of um, a, a spot in the game where there's a little bit of growth in the uh, what cards to play um, and where we can start kind of building like a meta of like. This card is definitely good to play because everybody else can play this kind of stuff and get to this number usually because we have so many different options now. Um, and so I, I think that adds to growth. The other thing that they've added with all this stuff is the new faction abilities. Um, so we're used to Fury, we're used to Flow, we're used to Turbo, uh, and we'll say Chaos Domination. Um, and we've had those and they're pretty cool, uh, but nothing... And uh, Sacrifice, if I didn't say that, I don't remember. Uh, but those were kind of, not bland, but there wasn't much to them. Fury was probably the most hard to activate because you didn't want cards in your hand for Fury. Uh, so you had to find a way on the next turn after your Fury effect to get cards back in your hand to be able to play the game. Um, uh, Turbo was cool. Uh, obviously, I like Ventus. Everybody knows that. Uh, and Domination was uh, pretty great, especially for like the flip cards and stuff. And like so, our best flip cards that we have in the game still, even after this set's dropped, um, are you know uh, Pack to Darkness and uh, what's the Stand Together. Stand together. Uh, and uh, that hasn't really changed, but there are more options, so that's really cool. Um, anyway, these new faction abilities are, are really awesome uh, to me. Anyway, we have Empower. Which is shared between Chaos and Pyrus. Um, which means there's going to be Chaos cards with Empower. There's going to be Pyrus cards that have Empower. And then there's going to be Chaos Pyrus dual faction cards, like Focus Fire here, that have Empower. And uh, so what Empower says is uh, you can pay the cost of your card. Usually you get an effect. This one is plus 500B. If you pay, it, it'll say Empower, uh, colon, you may pay an additional energy cost to get a secondary effect. Uh, the main thing you need to know about Empower is that there's a new hero card that is Dan and Leah, and that card says you may empower cards for free. And that hero is very good, all right, because that gives you all of your secondary effects on all of your power Empower cards for free. Uh, so that means that you have a lot more powerful cards. This becomes a three cost plus 500B um, double strike and three frost strike card. That sounds like a lot, but you did have to pay the four energy to pay uh, play uh, Dan and Leah, uh, and then you had to pay, you know, have to have your three to play this card. Um, so it's a little balanced. Uh, it doesn't seem too overpowered yet. Uh, I haven't had too much testing with this, to be honest with you. This is just me kind of looking. I have a, uh, I have a, a list of all the cards here sent to me from Briar six two six. Y'all know and love Briar. Make sure you go subscribe to his channel. Uh, he does great work. Uh, and he made this for me like a day after the event when I took all the pictures of everything and put them on Twitter. He sent me this and was like, here, if you want to use it. I was like, yeah, I'm going to use it. Um, so yeah, Empower is pretty cool. Uh, another one that we have is Sync. Uh, Sync is pretty cool. Sync says, um, I have one here with uh, Aqua Kinesis, which is in Hex. It's a pretty cool card. Um, so this is plus uh, 200B. Uh, Sync, if you have a card of a certain type in your hand, you can reveal it. So that you know your parent, your your parent, your opponent uh, gets to see what's in your hand. That's the downfall of the ability or whatever. Uh, but all you have to do is show a type of card in your hand, put it back in your hand, and then you get to use a secondary effect. So this says you may reveal a card in your hand that caused one energy to reroll your Bakugan. Uh, so this becomes a one energy 200B increase reroll. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, that's a very cheap. Uh, B power boost and reroll at the same time as long as you have that stuff in your hand. So build your deck uh, around having low cost cards. This card itself is one energy. So in my one game I played against Jake Illinuk, who uh, so valiantly destroyed me in battle um, because of my own uh, defective rolling skills. Um, I, I played this. I played this card and I played it like twice in one turn because it's one cost. So it was like turn three, missed my roll. 
uh, played this, got 200 B. I was like, cool. If I land, I'm gonna I'm gonna do pretty well because it was like a it was like a box tournament or whatever. So there, there wasn't a lot of stuff going on. Uh, 200 B would be a lot at that point. Um, missed it. It's like, well, I have a chance for another one. Played it again. Tapped another energy. Got another 200 B and another reroll. And I mean, in, in gameplay wise, I mean, you could stack that. I guess if you needed to in a pinch, if you had three of these in your hand, three energy. That's 600 B for three. Uh, and as many rerolls as you need. <laughs> um, so, anyway, uh, Sync is pretty cool. Uh, and that is shared between the Darkest Faction and the Aquas Faction. So I have an uh, Aquas one here. Um, one highlight out of this I think is actually really cool is we have a new Bakugan named Feral, uh, which is kind of like a Sphinx thing. It's a uh, really cool Bakugan. It looks fantastic in Darkest in the figure. Uh, I know M Stubbs and a couple other people uh, got that from the event, uh, but it's black and purple figure, but it has gold in its little Sphinx thing. Uh, so it's the first like a little bit of extra color we've gotten in a Bakugan. It's pretty cool. But Titan Feral and Darkest, it's five cost um, uh, with a thousand B, uh, five damage, but it has sync. So when it says when you open this or when this opens, you may reveal an Evo in your hand. Uh, for plus damage equal to the Evo that you showed uh, Evo's damage. Um, that's cool, because there's this new Trox that has 20 damage on it. Uh, Hyper Trox for Pyrus. I don't know if it's Ultra or Core. Uh, I don't know at this moment. Um, but it's got 20 damage, so all you gotta do is show it uh, when Titan Feral opens, and you'll be 1000B, 25 damage. That's kind of cool. Um... So you can see that there's some fun things to play around uh, with these new uh, sync cards. All right, so the next uh, faction ability I really wanted to talk about uh, was Rapid Fire. Uh, this is one that a lot of people are kind of buzzing about. It seems pretty cool. Uh, my favorite as an idea, anyway, uh, until we get into more testing, I'll, I'll give you a better opinion. Um, but as an idea, it's pretty neat. So the cards have the word Rapid Fire on them. That's like their new keyword or whatever. Uh, so this is uh, Pyrus Vortex uh, that has plus five damage, um, but it says rapid fire. The second rapid fire card you play this turn is free. Uh, so basically what these cards do are give you like a kind of uh, combo mechanic in between one another. Um, and some of them are pretty cool. Uh, some of them will say the um, third rapid fire card you play this turn is free. So you can play one rapid fire, then a, it says the second rapid fire card you play this turn is free, then play a, another card that says the third rapid fire card, uh, you play this turn is free, and play a third card, and you'll play that all for the price of the first one. So, uh, really, uh, go find you a card list. I think Brawler Cafe uploaded one to their website. Uh, go check that out. I think their website, their website's about to update or something. Um, so go check that out. I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, but um, look through all the rapid fire cards because uh, there will be some kind of combo mechanic to where I could play this three cost rapid fire card and maybe get this insane powerful thing going on. Um, this rapid fire mechanic is shared between the Pyrus and the Darkest faction. Uh, so um, that's pretty cool. Uh, one of the ones that I like, one of the ones I spotted up on the wall... Uh, while we were at the event, is the new Maximus Nilius. Uh, not Ultra, Maximus Nilius Core. Uh, it's an 8 cost, this is Darkest by the way, uh, 1400B, 7 damage. It has Rapid Fire, uh, and it says the second Rapid Fire card you play this turn is free, which is, you know, normal Rapid Fire effect. Uh, so you can play Maximus Nilius uh, and play another Rapid Fire card. That's not the interesting part. The interesting part is, at the end of the turn, if you played this for free, so if you Rapid Fired out this Nilius, uh, you return it to your hand. So, if you build an entire Rapid Fire deck, you could have this crazy, you know, strong Bakugan, 1400Bs, nothing to, uh, to uh, you know, it's not bad. Uh, and 7 damage, obviously isn't that bad either, but if you're playing cards like this, 3 cost, plus 5 damage, that's now... A little higher, uh, you bring out your Nilius for free, and you return it to yourself at the back at the end of your turn. Um, that's pretty neat. Uh, you kind of keeping the card in your hand and throwing it back out when you need it. Um, judging on the deck you build, so a rapid fire deck seems to be like a thing going forward that I want to try out uh, when I get more of these cards and this Nilius. Um, I don't think anybody pulled it. 
if I'm not mistaken. I know a couple people got the new Dragonoid uh, Maximus, which is pretty cool. But um, yeah, so that is Rapid Fire. Very interesting ability uh, that I think we all need to pay attention to moving forward. All right, so the next one is a, a really cool like play on domination, basically. Uh, and it's hosted by the uh, Chaos faction as well. Um, Trifecta is the new faction ability. Uh, it's hosted by Chaos, but it is also shared between my favorite faction, Ventus. Uh, and I'm really excited about uh, one of these things I'm about to tell you about. But um, Trifecta uh, is pretty cool. It's if your Bakugan have three or more Baka cores attached to them, blank. Uh, so you get a secondary ability uh, or effect. So this pretty cool card, uh, Prism Blast. All right, it's a two cost. Uh, for two uh, cost, you get plus 300B. Uh, that's not the best thing in the world. Um, but if you have three or more Baku cores attached to your Bakugan, Trifecta triggers, and you get plus 700B instead. So two for 700, not the worst thing. And also, um, hopefully when you play this, you play it on the turn that something picked up two. So you already have a big boost off of your cores. You get an even bigger boost with this. Um, so Trifecta is really neat. Um, there's some new Bakugan that we found that pick up two cores very easily, like, um, this big boy, uh, Gillator, or Gillator, um, uh, I never really got the official pronunciation, but I think he's an alligator, so I'm gonna say Gillator, Gil Gillator, um, like alligator, uh, cause he's pretty cool. Um, he, like, opens and his tail goes down like this, and picks up two cores, uh, pretty frequently. Sorry, phone cut out there. I uh, got a phone call. Anyway, um, yeah, so Trifecta is going to work really cool with those Bakugan uh, that we know pick up multiple cores. Uh, it, like I said, it's shared between the Chaos and Ventus faction, and I'm trying to give like one highlight of each ability through the video. Um, and one that we saw that is uh, pretty crazy, if you ask me, um, is a Ventus Maximus Dragonoid. Uh, and this is Core Dragonoid. Uh, 5 cost by itself, uh, 1200B, 7 damage, pretty cool Bakugan. Trifecta, if you have 3 or more Baku cores attached to them, uh, you can play this for free. Uh, so if you go turn 1, pick up 2, turn 2, roll your Dragonoid out, pick up 1, got this in your hand, uh, you get a pretty stout Bakugan on like turn 2, 3. Uh, and I think that that's pretty cool. Uh, and you're obviously attaching multiple cores, so hopefully you'll have a pretty decent team attack off of that. Um, and maybe build your deck around picking up multiple cores, so you want uh, different kinds of cores with B power and damage, so that when you pick up these multiple cores, you get a mixture of bonuses to have a more potent, uh, like, offense going on. Uh, so, yeah, Trifecta is really neat. Um, there'll be a lot of testing with all of these things, uh, but we have one more. So uh, let's check out Boost. Uh, boost is shared between the Aquas and Ventus faction. Here's a boost card here for you, a dual faction. Uh, it's really nice to see these. The blue and the green look really cool together. Uh, I like these new dual faction cards. Uh, but this is Deep Vines. It's a three cost, um, minus 400B. So boost says, if you have seven or more energy cards in play, minus eight damage. Um, this obviously plays into the ramping of the Ventus faction. Um, so, uh, it's, it's probably the weakest out of the ones that I've showed you today. Um, I haven't found a necessarily great one, uh, but I haven't looked all that, uh, too closely. Um, there's a couple, but it's always, I think it's always seven. Yeah. Uh, they all say if you have seven or more energy cards. So, um, you have to do some really serious ramping, so this really only fits into a Ventus deck that is ramping that hard. Um, but you also have to play Aquas. Uh, so this card seems, or these, this faction ability seems pretty constraining. Um, and, uh, not a lot of room in deck building. Uh, if we had like a 50 or 60 card deck format, I think that this would work, uh, infinitely better. Uh, obviously just longer, longer games in general, but also more deck space to fit these in. Uh, and also the ramping cards. Uh, for something like the format we have now, I'm not entirely sure that this is going to be that viable. Um, but it might be. Uh, somebody might figure that out. Who, kn who knows? Um, but yeah, so uh, that's all the new faction abilities. Um, tool cards. Uh, I mean, we can have a whole other video on tool cards. There's a bunch of... Uh, tool cards? Why am I calling them tool cards? They're Baku gear. They function like tool cards from Pokemon. Sorry. 
Sword and Shield came out. There's the flag. I'm in a Pokemon mood. Um, but I also had went to this great Bakugan event. Sorry. They're Baku gear. They're gear cards. Um, I think they're really cool. I think they add to the game a lot uh, and supplement it very well. Uh, these new faction abilities, um, they don't really play into the old ones necessarily. So they're like completely different things. Um, so I don't know if that's a problem per se. I think it's just more options. Uh, and I always like more options in my card games. Um, so... Um, a lot of the cards in this set seem to be a little more powerful, especially Evo-wise. Uh, most Evos are going over a thousand, uh, especially the, the even the remotely good ones that we've been looking at. Uh, I'm looking at all the the Ventus <laughs> the Ventus Bakugan Evos right now, and all there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, all but two of them uh, are over a thousand B power. Uh, so. That's just kind of telling you where the game's moving, I guess. Um, and I mean, uh, you know, the game needs to grow forward, needs to change some things, maybe take some things out of the spotlight and put some new ones in uh, for us to be able to grow as a game and then develop a more complex, hopefully, more complex meta. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, thank you uh, for watching this. This is just kind of my glancing over the card list and explaining these new faction abilities in case no one has yet. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have noticed any cards, uh, like I said, go to Brawler Cafe, check the card list out. Um, uh, if you've noticed anything that you think works with these faction abilities really well, or if you've spotted a card on the card list uh, that you think is really important, um, please leave that down in the comments. I, I want this to be kind of a competitive uh, introspective into what's coming. Uh, so if you know of something that's incredibly good in this new set, please put it down in the comments. Uh, I can pin some stuff or... Uh, you know, bring it to light, um, uh, cause I, I think this set's pretty good. Um, it, like I said, the energy cost might be a little higher, uh, but all the good ones I've seen have been below three. So, um, Evo wise, it, it's really crazy. <laughs> There's a lot of options Evo wise. Uh, but anyway, yeah, post stuff in the comments. If I miss something, miss said something, didn't show you something that was important. I could do another video. Like I said, I'll probably do a video on tool card. I, oh man, Baku gear. <laughs> Oh, man, that was bad. <laughs> I'll probably do a video on Baku gear uh, whenever I get a chance, or if y'all uh, think the channel warrants that. Um, and then, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope this was helpful. I don't know if it was, uh, but I'm going to try to keep up with all this stuff. Uh, when the new stuff comes out, you bet you I'm going to be getting some and showing it off. Um, uh, post in the comments if y'all want a <laughs> profile on the deck I made at the event. Um, it's nothing special, but if you want to see it, I'll gladly show you. Uh, we've got, you know, the Baku gone to look at uh, and see what I was trying to do, uh, but ultimately failed at. So, anyway, thanks for watching. I uh, appreciate y'all being here, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye. Bye.